Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Kimberly and I'm a part-time reseller on platforms like, oh gosh, brain, come on, uh, Poshmark, Mercari. I do list some things on eBay. Uh, I send things into ThreadUp, sometimes to the real real. I am testing out the waters over on Whatnot and I do flip flops. So anywhere that I can think of, kind of, sort of, I try and list or sell, kind of. I have a few things over on Depop. I don't really do well. I've sold one item on Depop. Today we're doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing, of course. This is, there were no sales or anything, but they had a one denim box available, so I snabbed it. Snabbed it? Snagged it. Whatever. Um, so I got one denim box and one thrifty apparel box. I figured, because my cost of goods is so low when I do these boxes, it's worth it for whatnot. Um, as you can see, I have things hung up here. These are things that are currently on in ready for a whatnot sale. Um, I'm filming this on the 16th of December. I ordered this box on the 13th. So it only took three days to get here, which is crazy. And I have my sale for the 18th or 19th. Anyway, whatever, but it's a cozy sale and it's all about cozy items. So I figured, well, do I have anything in here? Probably not because denim isn't exactly cozy and that's not going in this sale. But yeah, um, I've already run two sales. They were crap. <laughs> I made some sales, but like, yeah, it wasn't great. So I don't know if it just takes time to build up. We'll see what happens, but I'm not going to give it up. I'm going to see what happens. And then, um, yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Let's unbox. So this is, like I said, thrifty apparel and denim. So it's one in one. I just opened the box so I could pull out the thing to see what, which, which boxes I ordered, because to be honest with you, I didn't remember. I knew it was denim, but I didn't remember if I got a thrifty or a regular apparel. All right. <sighs> Right on the top, looks like the apparel is up, the thrifty apparel is up top and the denim might be on the bottom. Um, what do we have here? Okay, I've never heard of this brand, but it's called Mosaic & Co. And it's a size large. And it is a pencil skirt. It has this fun like diamond pattern. Um, okay, so the label is here, but the zipper is here. I'm very confused because there's also like, there you go. See, look, there's zippers and stuff. So, okay. The label is off center. That's why. Anyway, so these are fake pockets. They're not actual pockets. I don't know anything about this brand, but I'll look it up. Worst case scenario, I put it in a show. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Um, this could be cozy. I'm gonna butcher this name, but I'm gonna try. Babo? Okay, so it's B-O-B-E-A-U. It's a size extra large. No, nope, it's a 1X, my bad. And this is like a cardigan, like a draped front cardigan. It doesn't have uh, buttons or anything. Nice long sleeve. It's almost like, I wanna say houndstooth, but it's not. Um, does it have pockets? Nope, no pockets, but that's okay. This is really nice. This is definitely cozy. Look at that. So I will probably list this on whatnot and see if that works. If not, I'll just list it myself because I don't mind. I like, you know, it's a basic, but okay. I never pick this brand up in the thrift, but I will never say no to it in a box because um, I can bring it to Play-Dohs if need be. So this is the brand L, like the magazine. It's a size small. And it is this cool sheer style top, kind of gauzy. Gauzy is apparently a keyword that people are looking for. So that's awesome. I don't know. I might try listing this. It's a size small. It's really pretty. I like that. And it's textured. All right. Next we have, what do we have? Um, we have the brand style loft in a size medium now i've never heard of this brand before but that's okay i like learning new brands it's just this really fun gauzy also tank top um and then it has this fun 
crisscross detail in the back. The straps are adjustable too. That's nice. Okay. I like the print on that. That's a pretty print. I do see a run in it, but it really blends into the um, pattern. So I'll have to look it over better and see if it's just that one or, or what. Okay, what do we have here? All right, so this is the brand XXI or 21 and it's a size medium. So there's the label. I've never actually seen this, like picked this brand up or tried it before. Another gauzy top um, with that like cool bat wing style sleeve. I don't know, I like the pattern of it and I like that um, embroidered lace style. We'll see. I'll have to look that up. Either way, I'll either list it or I'll bring it to Play-Dohs. We'll see. Ooh, this would definitely fit for a cozy show. Um, this is the brand Derek Hart, size medium. Derek Hart is sold at Nordstrom Rack, I believe. Um, This is cute. Nice, like, stripes. Oh, does it have a kangaroo pocket in the front? It does. Yeah, I put king. Anytime something has a kangaroo pocket, I'm all over that. This is a cute sweater. This is good for a cozy show. I think I'll put this in my cozy show for Monday. Um, it's 100% acrylic, but it's in really good condition. I love the colors. It almost looks like it's hand knit in some spots, but I'm sure it's not. All right, we have something else that could work for a cozy show. This is Forever 21, size extra small. And it's just this really pretty, like color block striped sweater. Obviously, we've seen the, this one is really nice. I kind of wonder what the material is because it doesn't feel like a bad material. What is it? Uh, the material tag's been cut. Oh, well, you just never know. Okay, cool. So that's good for a cozy show. Hey, something else good for a cozy show. What's this one? Forever 21 size small. And it's like a sweatshirt dress, like a um, mini dress. It has zip uh, pockets on the sleeves. There's even a spot for your pen. <laughs> this is cute. I like that. I will probably list this in my show too. What do you got? What do you got? Next we have Old Navy everyday shirt size small regular fill, regular fit built in flex. So it's almost like a Hawaiian shirt with this really cool Actually, I'm pretty sure it is a Hawaiian shirt because that's like a Hawaiian flower. That's really pretty. Next, we have the brand Swiss Tech. Uh, this is a size 30. These are men's shorts. Really nice. Swiss Tech. Um, I sold this brand before, but I don't remember much about it, so I'll have to look into it. I think it's a decent brand for men. I don't know if it like retails for a lot or anything, but I do know that it's supposedly a decent brand. All right, we have another sweater. It does have some uh, pulls. This is LEI, Life Energy Intelligence, size small. And I believe it's a open front cardigan, yep. So this is cute, but like I said, it has a, a pull on the back here. I don't know, I still may put this in my show. It's a junior size small acrylic polyester. Acrylic and polyester. And I don't know if this is supposed to be part of denim or not, but we're gonna we're gonna pull it and look. Uh, this is the brand Cintas. Well it's bulwark sold by Cintas. So this is a suit. This is a uniform. It's flame resistant size large regular. Yeah. Alright so here we go. It is like a chambray style men's top. Um, West Tex. Yeah, I don't know. This, just because it's flame resistant, I might list it because I've heard good things about things like that. I don't know. This is interesting. Ultra soft shirt. We'll see. I'll probably list that on eBay and see what happens. Hey, I'm listing something on eBay. Good for me. And the other thing that's in here is a, I've got more denim, but non, a kiss, non, a detangling, non-slip brush. Huh. Okay, so I took a second to count. 
I included the flame resistant top in the thrifty apparel section. I also included the brush in my counts and I come up with 13 items, which is awesome. Now let's go into the denim because I want to see what I got. Um, it is nicely folded here in the bottom and let's see how many pieces I got. <clears throat> All right. So up first we have, this is the brand rugby university. Okay. So here is the patch on that. And then here is the interior. So this is Rugby University size 4432 in a stretch. So it's a men's dark wash stretch denim with like a straight leg. So this is nice. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition because this patch, it looks like if it had been like worn or used, that would be in much rougher condition. So here for that, let's go for some color. All right, so this is the brand Celebrity Pink. It is a size seven or 28 cotton rayon polyester spandex. And then it has the little CP on a little patch on the back. It's just this cute like cut off shorts. Um, I've sold this to Play-Dohs and I've also sent it into Thread Up in partner kits and gotten a decent payout. Like not deep, when I say decent, I mean I've recouped how much I've spent on them sometimes three, five dollars, which that's not great, but honestly, depending on the cost of goods of this box, covering it was fine. Although this could end up in a, um, a whatnot sale, we'll see. Next up we have Guess, which I knew from the back pocket, but so there's the back pocket. And then here it is on the interior. Um, these are a size 29 and they are 98% cotton, 2% spandex. So these are nice. These are really nice short, actually. They're short shorts. I might put these in a whatnot sale I have coming up. I have a swim sale coming up January 3rd. And I'm, you know, because of spring break and stuff like that. So shorts might be something good to add to that. What do we, oh, we have Levi's. So here we go. These are the 541s and they're men's because they're a size 32, 32. Um, are they, do they say anything else? Okay. So here we go. These are men's Levi's. They are really nice. They kind of have like the whiskering and wash there, but these, these look like they're maybe when worn a few, just a few times. So I'll definitely get these listed. I like that. Um, I don't necessarily do the best with Levi's, but I like having them and selling them because I think it does bring attention to your closet. What do we have here? Uh, this is the brand Massimo, I think. I think that's what that says. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Um, it's a curvy boot cut in size 10 R. Uh, it says Target on the interior tag. So this is um, older because it's 2013. I don't, they don't sell this brand at Target anymore. Um, what do you see? These are actually in really good condition. That's just like crinkle, um, wrinkles from being in the box. But I, like I said, this is a boot cut. So it has a little bit of a boot to it. Is that what it says? Does it work good? Yeah. Curvy boot cut. Okay. I get this listed. Um, I don't mind listing target anything but even older target all right what do we have here uh these are silver tab a levi's brand okay i've never actually had found these sold these anything so we'll see so there it is there it says silver tab then it has the little silver levi's tab there on the interior it says baggy silver tab a levi's brand uh, waist 32, length 32. These are 100% cotton. So these are, the style is the baggy. And you can, yeah, okay. These are, these look like they're in really good condition. So this is one of those lines that I've never found or sold. So I don't know how they'll do, but like I said, having Levi's is never a bad thing, especially the men's Levi's. I feel like that's even better. All right, what is this? 
These are Forever 21 Men, size 32. So, all right. Does it say anything else about sizing? No. Okay, so these are Forever 21 Men. And, oh, cool. Okay, so these are like a carpenter jeans because they have the loop where you're supposed to be able to hang your hammer. I think that's what that's for. But it doesn't have actually the big, it has a big pocket, but it doesn't have like the side, um, it does on this side, it has the extra pockets. So that's cool, I like this. Honestly, I don't shop for men's when I'm in the thrift store very often. I don't ever seem to have time to get to the men's section. So getting the men's denim is awesome. Getting the men's stuff in the thrifty and the regular apparel boxes is awesome. Uh, next we have Gloria Vanderbilt. These are the Amanda. This is like the classic style. These are a size 14 and they're in a white denim. I'll have to look it over because white, but these are kind of bread and butter for a lot of people. They're like very popular. So I will list these. I'll look them over, see if there's any stains, but this is such a common style. It's got to be common for a reason, right? So I will look that one up. We have something new with tags. These are Billabong, um, size 28, and they were originally $49.95. They are the buttoned up, and they have intentional distressing. So they have a, a button fly, four button fly. There is the tag. Here is the interior. And like I said, they're size 28. Um, these are cute. I actually like the color too. It's almost like a green. Like I said, it has intentional distressing. These are really nice. So happy to list those. Next we have, these have to be men's. <laughs> um, do they have a brand? These are Wrangler. So that's what it says right there. I don't see anything on the interior. Let's see what do we have here. Yep. Wrangler 36 by 32 carpenter jeans. So heck yes. Heck yes. So I knew it. There's the little, the loop. And there's the extra pocket. So those Forever 21s are also um, carpenter, which is awesome. These look like they're in really good condition. I'll get these listed. I don't think you can ever go wrong with carpenter jeans. Like those are popular. What do we have? Next we have J. Crew Flex. These are men's slim fit size 34-32. I don't think I've ever sold J. Crew for men. Or if I have, I don't really remember it. Uh, these are in really nice condition as well. Honestly, this whole box is almost entirely men's and I am not mad at it because these are good styles, good sizes, good condition. I'm here for that. And last but not least, we have more Levi's. These are the Levi's 501s in 3630. Oh man, that's awesome, okay. So even I've heard of the 501s. Um, yeah. They're in good condition. These are the original 501 straight leg button fly, 100% cotton. So this is awesome. It is the hidden button fly. Yeah, these are in darker wash and they're in excellent condition. So excited for that. Um, actually, I'm really happy with all the Levi's I got in this box. Let me pause, let me count, I'll be right back. Okay, this is awesome. I got 12 pieces of denim. I got 13 pieces in the thrifty apparel. That means I got 25 pieces and my cost, um, my total with shipping was $51.98. That means that my cost of goods was just just over two dollars we're talking like maybe two dollars and ten cents that's amazing especially because these jeans alone are going to cover the cost of this box plus i can honestly say that i can see me i can see myself four times in my money like 51 dollars is going to come and go i should be able to make about 200 dollars on this box
That is my guesstimate without looking at any comps and just based off the jeans because <laughs> those jeans are awesome. And I've been selling men's jeans from these boxes pretty consistently since I started listing them. Um, and they're selling anywhere between, depending on the style and the brand, I think the lowest I've sold is $15. And I think I've sold for $35.40 for another pair. So anywhere between $15 and $40 for the men's jeans per piece on these men's jeans. So that alone, that is why I can say I should be able to make at least $200 on this box. And like I said, that doesn't really take into account the stuff from the thrifty. I'm really happy with this box and not going to lie. I'm thinking about ordering another one right now because that was great. Let me know what you thought. Would you have been happy with this box? What was your favorite piece? Did you have a favorite piece? Because honestly, I feel like all the denim, that's my favorite piece, all the denim. Um, let me know your thoughts. Have you bought any of these boxes? What's your favorite box? Because I'm not going to lie now, denim, the denim box is absolutely my favorite box. Um, but I will see you guys on my next one. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. It would really help my channel. I'm trying to build it for the new year. Um, I'm trying to remain as consistent as possible. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.